Hey, what's up? It is Jeffrey here, and today we're going to be playing The Hunter Call of the Wild. So now today, I'm going to be doing some tree stand hunting, and I'm using, as you can tell from the thumbnail, a muzzle loader. This is my uh, first time using a muzzle loader. I've never used it in this game, but now the ammo I'm running is I have the 50, 50 caliber round ball, because it's, it's rated for... For the deer and all that, deer hung, you know, there. And I also have the basically hollow point projectile too. But now basically, since I'm deer hunting, I'll be using the round ball. So uh, let's get started. And see if we can get some deer. So I just dropped this deer, and that's fun and all that, but I'm trying to get some more kills with the muzzle loader. So we might get out this tree stand and walk around, walk around this lake, because I'm used to seeing deer around this lake, so that's probably what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and collect. So that was a perfect double lung and liver, but I was using the wrong type of ammo, so no, no, never mind. I think everything was right. So we have some deer droppings right here, but they're old. I'm just trying to get to the edge. I'm trying to get to the edge of this pond. Now, I know there's a bunch of moose and stuff that like to hang around this pond. Ooh, bingo! And they don't seem to be that far. I'm going to try to get a accurate range in this moose. This Oh, 199, basically 200 yards. Now, since she is a bigger girl, ooh, ooh, kill him, kill him. We're gonna go ahead and go prone for this shot. Oh, what is that right there? We have another animal. Oh, it's a deer. Oh, there's a couple deer. It looks to be a nice, a nice book, actually. No way. That's an albino book. That is a albino book. No way. We're gonna go definitely. I had to make sure I was recording. Jesus Christ. I believe that's an albino buck over there. I hope I got him. Dude, that's an albino buck. Jesus, this, this muzzle loader is so overpowered. I see him. I got him. I got him. He's right there. Oh my God. An albino book. 
Oh my god, there he is. Holy crap. This is a, a bite of book. I am so glad I got out the deer stand and started walking around. I'm going to try to call this other buck in because there's another buck in the area. And see if I can... There's something. That's a, that's a doe. Since these are deer, we're going to go ahead and put these in. Let's see how effective this thing Did I just miss that doe? There's no way I missed that doe. I guess we can go ahead and get this buck real quick. I don't know how I missed that doe. What the hell? He's a gold. I wish I can get him mounted. Pretty dear. My first ever albino buck. Did I get that deer or no? Because. Okay, person, I got that deer. There was two of them. Because there's a deer. There's a deer laying. There's a deer laying right there behind the grass. And there's a deer right there behind, beside the tree. So I got that deer. And I'm hearing, hearing footsteps to the left of me. So I'm getting a mating call from a deer. A doe at that. And we want to see if we can get her. And then maybe we can... Where the ducks? Where are the ducks at? Uh, yeah, if a duck wants to mess around and get shot with a muzzle loader, it can mess around and get shot with a muzzle loader. There they are. Man. Three of them. Nothing special. <laughs> well, I just smoked a duck with the muzzle loader. It was the trick. Alright, let's go pick up these other deer, and then uh, we're going to try to walk over here to these guys, and see if we can get one. So here's first doe, or the second. That's, a, that's another buck. What buck was this? The 50 caliber? Okay, yeah, this is the buck that was walking at me. And then this is the doe that walked out and that I thought I missed, but no, I got her. It was a double lung shot in the round ball. And now our next targets, I'm kind of enjoying making these long shots. So 
if I can get within how accurate is this round ball up to? If I can get within 109 yards, which I know I can, I'm going to take that shot. If I can get within 200 yards of this guy, I'll go ahead and take a shot at him. I'll use the mini, the, I'll use this ammo right here. Because this affects about 218 yards. Let's go for a long shot. Let's see how good this gun really is. And there's a deer laying there. We hit him. God, I am in love with this. Right, thing. There's this book. Oh, it's a heart shot. He's a gold, too. That's a nice book. A really nice book, actually. Dang. That's, that's not bad. Oh, my God. Holy crap. There's a rabbit right here. Oh, my God. The rabbit was right there. Why didn't he run? That was so weird. And this gun probably just obliterated. If this was real life, this rabbit would be no more. This would... No. Rabbits are softer than crap. That was a double lung shot. I'm surprised that wasn't a lung, liver, everything. Pretty rabbit, though. But Jesus... <laughs> I really want to see how this thing does with a moose. So, let's go find something that has a moose. Nothing. Moose. Nothing. Nope. Nope. Moose. Nope. Nope. 930. That don't help. Moose. 1300. I mean, we can, we can, we can fast travel back over here and see if they have any moose in this area. I believe they will. I don't see why they wouldn't. I really want to see how this 50 pal, 50 cow does to him. No, hold on. Oh. Oh, this gonna be a long shot. What are we looking at? 292 yards. If I can't find a moose by the time I get within 200 yards of him. He gonna be the moose. And now he's a white tail in range. Let's see if I can send a bullet. Oh, oh, don't you turn. Don't don't you you better turn back the other way. You better turn back the other way. You better oh my god. I think I missed. So then when I hit him, terrible hit, man.
So seeing how that other buck wasn't with them. I just shot on a new buck. Another bad shot made. Just terrible. I knew it. Oh, that would have been a nice buck, too. That would have been a nice buck. Dang. Waste of a good buck. Moose at. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Hold on now. Gonna do the two step. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try to get on Mr. Barry here. I, I think we just have to. I mean, I know I hit that buck over there. I know where he's at. They're not Mr. Barry over here. He's, he's looking too pretty to pass up on. I'm like directly behind her. I dropped her. I just dropped that bear. Oh crap, now we got a moose running across. Let's see if we can get a shot at her. Come on now, come on now. She slowed down. Come on now. This is what I'm looking for. A moose and a bear. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on now. Come on now. Oh yeah. Ah, bad shot. I think too far forward. Alright. Maybe she's too far? 285 yards. Yeah, okay. So she's not spooked, though. She's not spooked. So we're going to try to reload and see if we can get another shot at her. Okay, so she, she's, she's resting right there. I want to see if I can get a double long shot. She's about 215 yards out. So, Miss Bear is right here. I knew it. it was thoracic vertebrae, liver, stomach, and thoracic spinal cord. That was a good shot. 220 yards. <laughs> I was thinking about right here, and it dropped a little bit. Okay, so we know it can take a it can take a bear down with ease. I'm going to try to get at least where I can get a double long shot on this moose right here. And then I'm probably going to go back and find that other buck I shot. And that'll probably be the into that video, into this video. I mean, this this muzzle loader, man. This I think this is by far my favorite gun. Man, we're almost there. Like I said, I want to I want to get double lungs on this girl. I want to put a vital hit on her. Oh, it can't get much more perfect than that. Yeah, it couldn't get much more perfect than that. That has to be double lungs. Oh, yeah, she didn't go far at all. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Look at there. Double lung. It still hit kind of high, even though I was aiming, like, right here. It still hit pretty high. And I hit the left scapula. Word to my mama. Yes, sir. 84 yards. It's pretty awesome. All right, let's let's go back over. I forgot what was that. No, I'm not there. Is it here? It's here. <sighs> Gotta go back over here. See if we can find this book I just shot. Later, mount. First, that's I lost count, but 
This is gonna be a good video. I mean, I got that first deer out the tree stand. Got up, walked around, got an albino buck, another buck, a doe, another buck, a duck, a rabbit, a bear, and a moose. This is a good video. This muzzle loader. This is the only gun you need to hunt. The hunter call of the wild. You can kill anything with this gun. I, I think that's very obvious. I just killed a moose, and it went like maybe 40 yards and dropped. That's that's pretty awesome. I mean, I've tried killing moose with that 243, and it is just terrible. But yo, I can't complain about that. That month, that 50 cal killed that moose with ease. Killed that bear. I know he wouldn't go that far. It's a 50 cal. Terrible. Just. He had potential to be another nice buck. Tracking distance 200, 205 yards. Like I said, he didn't go that far. There we go. 32 yards hit. True score. Name. 180. I don't know why it looks like that. That damn leg's broke. <laughs> Decent buck, though. I think that's going to wrap up this episode. It was a really great episode. I mean, I got my first albino buck with a muzzle loader, so that's that's weird. But I mean, it happened. But heck yeah. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, if y'all like it or y'all enjoy it, keep coming back to watch me. I try to post once a day because y'all just starting out, so I'm trying to go ahead and hit it. Hit it hard, get some views, get a, get a base going. But uh, thanks for watching, guys.